Hey guys, I'm going somewhere right now that I never thought I would find in Columbia. In fact, I never thought I would find this outside of Portland. It's an entire lot exclusively dedicated to food trucks. This is my favorite food truck here. It's Venezuelan, it's called La Huayra, and I'm getting a traditional dish that is called Pabellón Criollo. Criollo, Criollo. <laughs> and it's got rice, shredded beef, black beans, and arepa, fried plantains, and avocado. I love it, I've had it like 10 times. Honestly, the flavor in this is just bursting and I love that there's all kinds of little samplings of the food instead of just one thing for dinner. I have eaten this about 10 times. These are the nicest women in this food truck ever. <laughs> they are always smiling and so kind. If you're in Salento, you have to come and try this food. This is the most delicious thing I've eaten in Colombia, straight up. Okay, this is from the house. This is called Casillo. It's a Venezuelan dessert. It doesn't have flour. It's made with eggs, uh, condensed milk, yes, and caramel. So we hope you enjoy it because we know you love pavellón. So this is from the house. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. That's so nice. giant beetles here that are about the size of my hand and they fly. It's basically a big June bug which is one of my biggest fears but there's one that's on its back it looks stuck so I'm gonna try to fix one here and see if I can help it flip up so it's not stuck anymore. Oh. Are you serious? Are you lying? He won't bite me? And he won't fly on me? Are you going to put it on your hand? Whoa! Oh! <gasps> Come on! <gasps> Ow! He's pinching me! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, he's pinching me! Okay, no, no. Okay, no, no. <laughs> he's pinching me! That counts, right? That totally counts. Oh, yeah, yeah. You touched it. He is strong! I thought it was the kind that flies, like yes. that one. You know that one? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that is terrifying. I surprised myself and decided to touch the bug that I just ran away from because this man came and picked it up and put it on his hand. And it's true, it didn't fly and it didn't bite me, but those pinchers, ouch. Like I have a little mark, it digs right into you and it felt kind of like a like a hook that for a fish that it can't come out. Good for it, but it wasn't so good for me. But I'm glad I touched it. <laughs> Another update on the giant cockroach that I decided to touch. It like hooked into my finger and it's still red. And I'm hoping it'll have some sort of like weird cockroach. In oh Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Is that one too? Oh there is. Oh dangerous. That's not a yeah. it's more dangerous? Oh yes. Oh. Not touch this. Look at that spike mark. The name is it's Oh my god. No. It's fighting. <laughs> yes. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> stay over here this time. This one looks like a flying beetle. It's huge and it gets into fighting position and goes on its back legs and he says that it's called like a samurai because when it goes up into fighting position it has this sword-like uh, pointy leg or nose coming out <laughs> leg nose. Technically it's called a leg nose. La Estación. 
Estación del Food Truck is one of my favorite places in Salento. It completely took me by surprise and I've been fairly addicted ever since. If you're in Salento, you really have to come here. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the food trucks and enjoyed seeing my delicious dinner. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more travel videos and I'll see you in my next one.